it's important to think about um, the various toolbox you need, the size of the toolbox you need, the various tools that would necessarily uh, go inside of those, and look at it over the next five years to say, what are all the tools that I might need inside this toolbox? And make sure that you're presenting that and making that available to your end users so that the pace of technology uh, innovation uh, can escalate and accelerate that much more rapidly. Because if you have to go to get a tool every time, all of us do it yourselfers. We know how long it takes to go to Home Depot and back because you forgot a screwdriver. If it's already in the toolbox, it's that much quicker to implement something. As a technician who's implemented technology for nearly 30 years at this point, I think it's really, really important to provide a level of consistency to your end user community. Um, and you you saw that, you go back to something as simple and as ubiquitous as email and Outlook. Microsoft has taken the Outlook interface and has tried to apply it to all other applications. Um, and as technicians or as technologists, we kind of want to do that with everything that we do, not necessarily just with the office products, but if, if we're going to, if we're going to standardize on a particular type of technology, we want to provide a common uh, user interface, we want to provide a com common tool set, we want to provide common things that are, uh, that are users that will reduce the amount of time we need to train our end users. It's almost second nature to them because they've used an application that's like it or adjacent to it. So we should strive for that as technologists because it enables our end user community to adopt technology that much quicker. If you contrast that to um, not taking that approach, you might have a hundred different applications. And if your end users have to be experts at those hundred different types of applications with a hundred different types of interfaces, um, it would be exhaustive to that end user community and they probably won't be very good at any of them. So if you can, in your particular case with AI Doc, um, if you can create a common interface and if you can create a, a common way to interact with different algorithms apply within medical imaging, It'll allow for greater end user adoption, which is key to any technology adoption. It'll also provide good governance around how things are brought in and how things are managed within that ecosystem. And within what we're finding within AI, one of the things that few people are talking about at this point is how do we operationalize AI? So once we put these things in place and recognize the power and the transformative nature that they can bring how do we make sure that they're still delivering power and transformative behavior two years down the road? How do we measure those real time to make sure that they're delivering the things that we thought that they would deliver when we first implemented them? So platforms are important for common um, tooling. Platforms are important for governance. Platforms are important for end user adoption. Uh, and the more that we can deliver platforms um, in a more holistic manner as a point to um, you know, individual types of solutions, I, I think it yields a better um, experience for the end users, um, uh, easier adoption for the end users. And for clinicians, um, technology is not their job. Their job is to help patients uh, their job is to make sure that um, they're improving patient care and patient outcomes. So the easier that you can make the technology aspect of what we're trying to deliver, ultimately that's that's the that's what we should be striving for as technologists.